Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Terraria. Today we are heading back into the action. Of course, last episode we took on the Goblin Army and built up our house a little bit. It's looking a lot more tidy. I'm, I'm really enjoying it for sure. Oh, look at these two hanging out. They seem to be having a good time. That's cool. Um, so yeah, we're actually for real. I said this last episode and the Goblin Army attacked and it had me totally sidetracked for the rest of the today uh, of that episode. But today, for real, we're going to the Crimson. We're gonna be using our uh, purification powder and trying to just sort of see how far we can actually get in the red crimson. Should be a lot of fun if we do it well. We'll have to find out, so we're gonna make that run all the way back over there. Should be fine. A lot of people were suggesting, and I'm sure I'll do this sooner or later, I just don't know how interesting of a video it would be, is um, making like a bridge over our house that one, works as an arena for fighting bosses, and two, can be sort of like a quicker way to travel instead of having to walk by foot across all these lands. We can just sort of overhead walk on the board that we made above our house that goes for really, really long spaces. I don't know if we exactly need that because it's not really even that difficult to walk by land with our new boots. Now we got a couple episodes to go, so we'll have to wait and see for sure. But for right now, it, it's definitely something I'm keeping in mind. Alrighty, so let's go over this way. Oh boy. Yep, okay, there we are. I mean, I know we did something similar for Minecraft. Of course, we made a a minecart system that went really far along. So I need to be careful this time. Don't fall all the way down like a dingus. I should probably get the umbrella again. That'd probably be good. And is my money still down here? I think it might be. I do see my gravestone. Oh, oh yeah, I just picked up one silver. I feel like that's all I had before. I don't know if I have to break that to get my money back. I don't remember. Whoa. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys as much as we can. But this is where we need to figure some stuff out. Cause to the left, there are two hearts. And with those hearts, last time we did that, we actually got a really cool weapon. So I can only imagine more of the same might end up happening this time. We'll find out. I'll try to put down more torches so that everybody can see properly. But also, do this. Cause we got this a couple episodes ago. And what it does, as you can see, is it makes it so we can actually dig through the crimson. And that's super cool. And I guess the expectation eventually is that we have to do that to all of the crimson in the game, which sounds utterly ridiculous to me. But if it's possible, we'll try it at some point. Okay, we got more monsters attacking us. I'll do that in just a second. Get rid of you. So yeah, I can't mine this normally, as you can see. Weirdly enough, I need to use a hammer. And there we go, we get another annoying Undertaker. How many annoying Undertakers are there in these hearts? Like, that's weird. Is that all you can get from them? I sure hope not. It would be cool if we could get some other stuff. Anyways, okay, buddies, you guys are going down as soon as it actually lets me switch to my real sword. Get this guy, there we go. Back to this, I'm gonna try a couple of these, though, for sure. I would really like it, Ah, oh, that didn't reach. Um, I'd really like it if they gave me more than just the same weapon over and over again. I mean, at least it gives me some musket balls so I can do that, that's good. But I was hoping for a little bit more. So let's do the purification. Maybe I'll angle it like this, so I'm just covering more. Because like I said, I might have to go back here one day and dig all of it up. And that gave me, what? Wow, the Brain of Cthulhu is awoken. I'm getting a Crimson Heart equipable. Summons a heart to provide light. All right, well, I'm gonna have to equip that. What? Oh, ow, 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 okay, hold on, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, teleport home, teleport home. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Uh, How do I unequip it? There it is. Uh, Unequip. What? <laughs> Wait, I unequipped you. I thought. You're still rolling around and following me. That was bizarre, by the way. Um, just gonna say that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I'm gonna go and fight him again. I just wanted to actually not be trapped in a little room, because that just wasn't fair. But I just, I didn't even know what I was, I, I might not even be ready to fight this guy is the thing. I just wanted to get more free stuff. Uh, but I definitely want to get this weapon ready. I wish I could have gotten a non-annoying Undertaker, because that would just statistically be better. Yeah, I don't know why the heart's chasing me. Because I it did the brain didn't show up until I fought or I put the, the heart on, right? I thought. But maybe that was just a coincidence. 
I'm gonna go back over there and fight that brain now. I mean, I hope. We'll have to find out. Yeah, what's with all the other hearts then? Did I just get lucky and get the heart I needed to fight the, gr the brain? I don't know. We're about to find out though when I get back over there. Cause this guy's still following me around. <laughs> it's very silly, is that just permanent? I don't know. This little heart thing. There we go, oh hey penguin. Oh can I capture, I'll have to find out some other time with the with the net. So I'm in the crimson biome. For better or for worse, I need to be ready. So now I can equip it. ZL, there we go. It's equipped, let's see if this brain shows up, if it's ready for a tussle. Cause I may or may not be. <laughs> I will try my best. I'm back up to full health. Like keeping my health down sort of kind of quick. I mean, seeing how I was just trapped in a room with him, I thought it was gonna be quicker, ow. Okay, I only lost two health there. So is he still gonna be down there? Or am I gonna have to get another heart and resummon him? I heard something that didn't sound pleasant. That actually wasn't too bad. Um, well he certainly isn't over here anymore. So it looks like he's skedaddled. That might still be mean he's around somewhere. I just don't know where. It was just sort of an unfortunate situation because I was trapped, you know? And I was sort of freaking out. And I just didn't have the chance to sort of figure out what was going on. So my next best bet is just to destroy more of those hearts and try to destroy them, I guess, when I'm in a position of better situation. But I guess for right now, the light, or the heart provides extra light. That's at least something. Okay, that was, that could have been better. Gotta get through all this ice. So let's get through all this. That's it. And try destroying this heart. If I can reach it. A horrible chill goes down your spine. I don't like it. What does that mean? Does that mean that there's maybe more? I, I probably just have to destroy more hearts. That's probably the idea. Destroy more hearts until the brain gets mad. So if I were to fail at this enough times, would there just be no chance of fighting the, the, the Cthulhu brain? Cause that'd be a problem. Okay, I see one of those things I don't like too much. And it's coming for me cause it saw me too. There we go, we got it, we got it. And more are making their way over here cause I've noticed my presence or maybe they haven't. He's backing up. He doesn't like the water very much, do you? Ooh, wait. Defeated the 50th blood crawler, that's cool. So let's try destroying this one. S screams echo around you. I'm glad I can't hear that. So it really must be that you have to destroy three hearts in total. Cause I destroyed one a couple episodes ago and then two here. And that seemed to have done the trick, but then I ran away. But this time I'll try to be a bit more prepared for it. Cause it does seem like it gave me a couple of moments, you know? Um, there we go. So Brain of Cthulhu has awoken. So what I gotta do is run over this way. Okay, ow, so many of them. That is insane. That is so insane. Ow, ow, uh, ow, geez. I wonder where I can go that might be better suited for fighting him. Can I like, ah, okay, Mr. Brain, could you just like give me like five seconds maybe? Ow, ow, ooh, no. No times, no time at all. Okay, oh gosh, no timeouts really. If I could get rid of more of these creeper things, I don't think I'm powerful enough for this fight. Oh, but they did drop the flesh stuff. These creepers dropped that, which is good. I think they did, maybe. That'd be really important that they did. Okay, the blood crawlers aren't too much of a stress. Man, okay, they are everywhere, that hurts. Come on, I can't get out of here. I'm in like juggled around. This is a problem. This is a problem as I fall deeper into the water. He doesn't like the water very much, does he? I can't get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, what is happening? That's super lame. Okay, I get another one. Yeah, they're definitely dropping that stuff. Okay, I got three seconds until I can activate another one. That's it. All right, let's get back to it. Got it. <laughs> At least they drop some extra health from time to time. That's appreciated. Okay, where is he? He's down that way now. 
I'm just trying to shoot him however, wherever I can. He doesn't have a health bar or anything, it seems. I mean, I guess the eye I could feel didn't either, did he? No, he did. Didn't he? Yeah, he did. This guy does not. Maybe he doesn't, I don't think he has a health bar. I gotta destroy all of his creeper things. Oh, no! Oh, I don't like it! Oh, it's creepy crawly! But I'm keeping him back okay. I'm doing an all right job. Um, I take that back. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job at all. Hey, 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 hold on. I always need to say, stay down below him because then I can sort of keep him up a little bit. Uh, I'm just trying to avoid him for now so I can get some healing. Where is Heather when you need her? Uh, there we go. That's not gonna keep it for very long now. This is really unfortunate. I do not want to mine things right now. Gotta be honest. Oh, I wish I brought more than one kind of health potion because he's so low on health. I might still be able to get him here, but it's gonna be a bit of a, ah, oh, darn. Dang, that really stinks. Because once you, I mean, when I use one health potion, it uses all of them. I was so close though. And if I go back, he's not gonna be there anymore. But you know what I did get? I got a lot of tissue sample, which is a big deal because I can use that to make a better pickaxe. All righty, well, at the end of the day, I still got what I wanted. I should probably hold off before I fight him again. I'm thinking I will, because I don't know, I have two hearts here I can destroy, and a bunch over this way. But you know, it's like one of those things where it's like I don't wanna waste all my chances. Like maybe if I went outside, would he chase me though? I'm not really sure. That's where things get really tough. Um, but I at least can make the pickaxe. That's a big deal. So I'm gonna do that over there. Oh, actually I need to get the Crimtain. So the Crimtain should be in there. Yep. I'm gonna grab this stuff. And then a lot of them, they dropped, whoa, they dropped a couple of things. One thing they dropped more Undertakers. They're all awful. <laughs> the, oh, actually this is a normal Undertaker, okay. That's a normal one. We also got a sluggish one. We got a blood crawler batter. We got the rotted fork. It does 14 melee damage, so not really that good. Um, but it just seems to be like a stabbing type type of thing. Um, that's probably another crimtain kind of thing because they dropped a ton of crimtain ore. 86 in total is pretty good. Uh, but if we go back over this way, I wanted to do what? We can make a crimtain brick, I'd rather not. Yeah, this stuff. So do I have enough to make Crimtain Helmet? Whoa. And the, the Deathbringer pickaxe. This is what I was looking for. So I'm super happy for that. There's also the Deathbringer pickaxe. Wait, did I? Okay, I guess I got a little confused there. Uh, there's also the Meatball. Doesn't look like it really does too much though. We also got the Tendon Bow. Lots of cool stuff. Um, for right now, all I really need though is that pickaxe. So that's what I'm gonna get right now. Um, it does, it's 12 Crimtain bars, which I have, and also six of the, the flesh. There we go. So I actually wanna also talk to Scott and see what he has to say about the flesh then. So I'm gonna go over this way. Hey buddy, can I talk to you? Uh, crafting. And it's gonna show me everything I could possibly make with it. So I can make all of the Crimson gear, the Crimson, or the Deathbringer pickaxe, the, the flesh grinder and the meatball. So what I should be able to do with this brand new pickaxe, as you can see, this one does six, this does 12, and has, okay, this is a massive Deathbringer pickaxe. So it has plus 18% size as its benefit, as it's just random bonus, it has weak knockback, fast speed, 70% pickaxe power. Um, so lots of stone it can mine. Whoa, I, I probably shouldn't have that. Sorry there, Scott, I didn't mean to test out my new pickaxe on your door. Cause I just thought I was gonna get free loot from the hearts. I wasn't thinking I was gonna fight the brain with it. I mean, I will probably wanna try it again before the episode's over, but I do just wanna test out this pickaxe for right now too. The best way to do that is gonna be going all the way over to the, the desert cave where there are fossils. And I wanna dig up a lot of those because that's gonna be something I just wanna do. So maybe I could also focus on that for a little bit because I'm just trying to think like, what can I do to be a little bit stronger? I mean, I could make better armor. That could help because I almost got him. I got so close. And now I know sort of what I'm up, to, up against. I need to focus on the creeper things and then I can get rid of the eye itself. I didn't really know that before. I thought I was trying to hit both at once and I was fully expecting to die. 
but I got so close it was sort of a bummer that I ended up dying. There's probably better health potions I can actually end up making too, and maybe some other potions I can use. I got a lot of those at this point. So there's some options for sure. So I'm just looking for some uh, fossils. There should be a lot around, but of course when I'm looking for them, I cannot find them anywhere. But yeah, this should be just be able to mine. One thing, super quick, just do normal stuff, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not another one of those guys. I just do not want to deal with them. Okay, so I want to go back over from where I came for now. The angling also seems to be another important thing with the with the Cthulhu's brain. You gotta make sure that your angling is right. Okay, here we go. Here's a ton of fossils, an absolute ton of them. So as you can see, we can now mine desert fossils and I can turn these into some really cool stuff with the uh, extractinator. So this is exciting. I don't know if there's anything else I can do with the fossils, so I'll have to talk to Scott about that as well. But I'm super duper happy. Hey buddy, you're going down. There we go, I can, I can destroy him with my pickaxe. That's good, I'm really happy about that. Okay, so there we go. And I'm gonna dig up as much of this stuff as I can because it's really important to have. I'm gonna light some things up for you guys. I know that, or not. Hold on, it's being picky. I don't know what's with this. Like, it, it it's silly. Because sometimes you can place things on the wall, and sometimes it's, the game's like, no, I'm not gonna do that. It's just weird. Anyways, I'm gonna clear all this out, get as many fossils as I can for the next couple of minutes at the least. Yeah, not too much in there. Okay, we're fine. Go back to this big pile. And this will be super duper helpful for getting the, the extractinator to really work for us. We could probably get a lot of cool different ores with this because before we were getting a diamond and some other rare ores as well. See, I can actually dig things up while I'm beating these guys up now. It's a good two for one deal. There we go, almost done with this. And then I can hop up there and there's another huge plot of it. That's gonna be good. Almost there, nice. And then there's more maybe down that way? I know there's more somewhere. I'll find it eventually. But this part's huge. There's so much fossil here. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of it, but I wanna at least get a couple minutes worth of it. That shouldn't be too bad. What do you want, buddy? Get out of here. That wasn't even difficult. So this is gonna turn out great. I'm super happy about it. So at the least, you know, this was my main goal for going to the Crimson Area, was to find out how in the world I can get a better pickaxe. Apparently it was making a really big brain super angry and then dying against him. I mean, the dying part wasn't necessary, but it was a part of the journey. So how much do I have at this rate? I have to have a good chunk. I have 189 of them. Let's try to get as much as I can here. This will probably end up with me having about 300. That'd be good. A couple more down here. Uh, there we go. Oh, I see more of those tomb crawlers. But yeah, I do like the extra life that the little heart provides. It's not too much more than that, so that just seemed to be a lucky random drop I got from that. I thought I had to equip that to fight the heart, or not the heart, the, the brain, but that just seemed to be, once again, like, like I said before, coincidental. Okay. How are we doing now? I'm at 262. It looks like there might be roughly 40 blocks here. Hard to exactly tell. I'm just glad to be getting all this. I haven't really seen where I can get more silt. I've just sort of stumbled upon it randomly and never really thought about it too much. So that's just sort of something I have to look out for. But for right now, Desert Fossil seems to be just as good. And I'm sure there's more and more we can do with it. I mean, maybe not, maybe it'd just be good for the Extractinator, but if that's the case as well, I'll happily do that because Extractinator is really nice. There we go. So this big plot of fossils is gone now. I used it all up. Or at least I dug it all up. There we go. A little bit more over this way. And there's more desert biome, so I'm sure we could find more fossils soon. Like we found the pyramid in the other desert biome. I'm also checking it. Looks like there might be more down this way. Uh, hard to tell. Well, there's something. <laughs> it's not quite fossils. But a little pot gives me a lesser healing potion. All right, so I'm gonna get up this way. I'll try to figure this out. I might wanna, before I take on the brain again, I might double check 
the wiki and see if it says anything about the heart situation. Cause I'm really worried that if I get this next heart and I die, what if I can't spawn him back in again? And it's just sort of out of luck for this world. That could certainly be a thing. Maybe they respawn after a certain amount of time, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. So I need to be careful of that the next time we fight him, which means I need to guarantee that I'll beat him. The best way to do that is just to make sure I have potions and stuff and just be as boosted as possible, I guess. Which shouldn't be too big of a deal, I would hope. We'll have to wait and see, like I said. Come on now. Almost there with all these fossils up this way. How many are we at? 371, we might actually reach 400. That'd be great. Okay, buddy, out of the way. I almost got him taken out right there. Those guys aren't even a worry anymore. They're fine. Easy enough to deal with. I love my new pickaxe. I'll probably sell the other one. I don't have too much of another use for it, so. Oh, yeah, you better run. He decided to, to, to uh, chicken out at the last moment. Hmm. So I don't see too many more fossils around here. I'm sure that there are more to find. But I might just wanna leave it at that so I don't get too bored here. <laughs> or make you guys too bored either. I'm sure it's not the most interesting thing in the world. Hmm. Even though I do see this plot right there. I'm gonna have to leave it for later. There's more overhead as well, so there's like a never ending amount. I'm going to go ahead, get the mirror, and we're gonna teleport home. And I'm gonna turn that stuff into a bunch of other things with the extractinator, which is over there. Best way to get to it is just to plop down this way. And then all I need to do is aim up on it and look at this. We get tons of stuff. Sturdy fossil. Wait, we're getting fossils out of the fossil? Weird. Oh, we're getting tons of stuff. I might actually have to organize my inventory really fast. But we've already gotten lead ore, gold ore, sturdy fossil. Yeah, I don't know what else, what's up with that. Uh, tungsten ore, very cool stuff. Also, where's Scott at? He's over here in his room, of course. His new room. I did want to check really fast. I can't even place that in there. It won't even work. So, guess there's nothing I can build with it. That's good to know. All right, let me organize my inventory really fast and then we'll go back to extractinating. All righty, well, it's not perfect by any means, but that should definitely be enough room to get tons more stuff. So, let's get back to this. And what I got over this white tin ore. And I'm gonna get a lot of stuff out of this. Like, this will be really good. We can just like let this sit for a moment. And I think I, I might just like, ooh, just revel in all the cool stuff we're getting. We're getting money as well. I saw nine silver, 10 silver. We're slowly just building up more and more money. Platinum ore is a big deal there, so I'm happy about that. Just so much stuff. Oh, this is super crazy. I don't know what the sturdy fossil can do, so we're gonna have to look into that. But the platinum ore is getting higher and higher, just slowly, it's at six for now. And if I could use that to turn to platinum bars, that'll probably get us pretty far ahead because I'm pretty sure platinum's like the next step. I might be wrong though, like I really don't know. <laughs> I have to really look into the different pickaxe tiers and what I need to do to make them. But we're almost there, we've almost spent all one, or 400 of it, we had over 400. We're about to have zero again. I mean, that was still a fun little foray into something a little bit different in today's episode. Come on, come on, 20. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, there it is. <laughs> so out of that, I got one gold, 24 silver, 23 copper worth of money. I got amethyst, sapphires, emeralds, lead ore, tungsten, a little bit of everything it seems. It's pretty crazy. Uh, copper ore, platinum ore, gold, silver, iron, uh, amber, lots of amber, 35 sturdy fossil. I need to figure out what I can do with that. And then 21 tin ore. Pretty cool spoils if you ask me. I wanna talk to Scott really quickly and just sort of provide him with this fossil. What can I make with this? Whoa, we can make fossil gear. So bone javelin, bone throwing knife, amber staff. Oh, that's cool. We also have like fossil helmet and plates and fossil greaves. I would need quite a lot of it just for some of that stuff, so I don't know if it's worth it. Because like my stuff isn't too bad in terms of defense and stuff, um, but good to know, very good to know. So I'm gonna stash some of that stuff away. I think I wanna end up making gold armor next. Definitely considerable. Um, I pressed the wrong button there. Let's stash all of this away. Most of it already has a slot, so that's perfect. Awesome. So how much gold ore do I have right now? I have 81. I'm gonna put that one there. I definitely think that'd be good to make gold armor, because I think gold's better than tungsten, right? I'm pretty sure. 
I guess we're gonna find out. That's not what I wanted to do, there we go. Um, so yeah, let's figure that out real fast. Cause I currently have like, say my tungsten chainmail is five defense. If I go down here, I can look at my wide selection of options. The golden five defense, who actually isn't any better. But my, my greaves here are three defense, four defense, that's slightly better. And then the helmet is four defense. This is four defense. So the only thing I could really do is make uh, better greaves. I mean, hey, even one point could be a big game changer. All right, I can give it a try. Beyond that, I don't really wanna make any weapons with it. Wouldn't really be worth it. So I will make the greaves and that's, I'm gonna be weirdly colored, I guess. I mean, I guess that that's one thing is that if you make a consistent thing, apparently it'll boost your stuff. So maybe it would be worth it. How much would that be? 25, 35, 30. So in total, it'd be 65, 70, 85, 90. I don't have enough gold bars for the full set. So I don't know. I could just do the gold greaves for now, or I can make the tungsten helmet and maybe that would give me a big enough boost. Cause yeah, that's sort of something I think is that if you have like tungsten, like a full armor tungsten, like that might actually give you a little boost from as far as I understand. In the meantime, where's the tungsten? It's right here, we actually have more than one stack of it. So I can do this without worry. Let's get back down this way. And take a look at more of our options because we have a lot more of them now. So I want to make the tungsten helmet, which is the same amount of defense as what we have right now. That takes 20 bars, which is pretty expensive. And then I'm just gonna equip that. And did that give me any kind of boost? Because like I normally have 16 defense. But if I unequip that, I still have 16 defense, I think. So you see to the left of the die there, it says 16. I thought that would mean I have 16 defense, but maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, it can't be worse because it's you know the same amount of defense as before. Alrighty, well, I did what I could. We'll figure out how that goes. Was there something else I wanted to make as well? I mean, maybe, but maybe not. It seems like gold is only ever so slightly better than tungsten. I mean, I definitely wanna bring my potions and stuff, but beyond that, I mean, I might just have to work with that and see how well it goes against the brain. So the only thing is, I don't know if potions stack, if I can use more than one, but we have a swiftness potion, which has a 25 increased movement speed. Iron skin potion increases defense by eight and regeneration potion. So I think I'm gonna start with the iron skin potion. If things go south from there, I can try the regeneration potion and then the swiftness. So we'll just sort of see and do the most important, the least important that way, just in case, you know, it doesn't turn out so well, I should be okay. So that'll be the hope, we'll have to find out together. Oh man, I'm nervous. I mean, I have 400 health, you think that'd be enough to deal with him, and we got so close to beating him last time. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there, I'm also gonna check the wiki real fast to make extra sure that, it, you know, this won't be my last chance to fight him, I'm not really sure. But yeah, we'll find all that out, and hopefully more. I mean, I hope I won't even have to worry about it. Okay, so I did double check. It doesn't seem like, I, I couldn't find an answer if they respawn or not. But what I did find an answer to is that they do end up, um, is there three hearts over here? So I do have more than one chance. I think I have one, two, one, two, three, and then another yeah, two over here. So I have at least two more chances with the hearts. But apparently beyond that, I can combine the vertebrae I found to make another one. Make a, um, what's it called? Uh, make some kind of spine and then that can do it. But I also need vicious powder. I don't know if I can make that right now. I didn't look too far into it. But I know there's a chance that if we mess this up enough, I, I'm still not totally out of luck. So that's at least good to know. I'm gonna destroy these guys and hope I don't get too hurt along the way as we head down here. Um, it's gonna be interesting for sure. I mean, I'm glad I got the pickaxe I wanted, but if I could also destroy the brain, that would be a good idea. If I get the spine, apparently I can use that similarly to the Eye Cthulhu to fight him anywhere in Crimson. I, I think it might be better to actually keep it in the caves because I can actually reach him a bit more easily. He can reach me a bit more easily as well, but I don't know, what you gonna do, right? So what's over that way? Is that another heart? No, it's glowy, but not a heart. I'm gonna do that. Uh, the only problem is that there's a lot of 
crawler spiders that spawn in here. That's it. So I'm gonna start with that. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, that was scary. Giant worm's not a problem. I'm gonna start with this one. So, whoop. And I'm gonna try to get out of the water real quick just so I can do that. Dig back down here and see what else we can find. I mean, hopefully they stop dropping, start dropping new stuff soon, that'd be fun. Crimson Rod. Uh, what's a Crimson Rod? Oh, what's this? Crimson Rod, 12 magic damage. Summons a cloud to rain blood on your foes. That sounds gross, but let's try it. Um, I don't need the bug net right now, so I'll do this. That might be interesting. Whoa, oh, that could actually be really useful. And there's like a skeleton over there. I might actually end up using that on the brain once he actually goes in like full fight mode. Okay, hold on, in the meantime, and I, I'm, I'm gonna assume that uses mana. In the meantime, I do have some stuff over this way. I'm first gonna do a bit of that so I can get down this way. Actually, before I even do that, I feel like I wanna attack the farther one first so I can more easily deal with it. Let me just keep digging for now and then I'll place down a couple more torches because the game is still super picky about that. There we go. So destroying this one first and foremost will be good. So this powder has really gone a long way for me. I haven't needed to use nearly all of it. Oh, this stuff drops money. And some arrows, cool. I didn't realize that. So here is the other one. Ruthless, what was that? Oh, it's a ruthless fork. 17 melee damage, don't quite need it. Glad I got the crimson rod though, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go over this way. This is the last one now, so I might wanna make a speedy escape route so that the moment he comes in, I can deal with him. Not too worried about the spider. Oh, but I am nervous. I am legitimately nervous right now. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna destroy this and then move it. I got another Crimson Rod, is that one any better? Seems to be identical. Cool though, very cool. So this is, oh man, and I got a bad situation here. See, it's just right on top of me. Here come all the, oh, I tried to avoid this. Tried to avoid this. You know what we need to do? Iron Skin Potion. I need to put it right there. Drink that and drink that. I really don't know if effects stack. Why'd I fall back down here? That was a bad idea. Please don't die, I really need to not die. The more we destroy these things, the better. So just move it. Try to get us some distance between the brain and ourselves would be great too. Ow, ow, ow. So we have five minutes of up to defense. Jeez Louise, there's so many of them. So many. But they're not doing too bad considering the situation. Okay, that's not gonna be helpful. <laughs> not one bit. That'll be helpful against the brain when it's just us and the brain, maybe. And if I can maybe when there's only like one left, heal up, that'd be perfect. I'll have to wait and see if that'll actually be the case. So what I might wanna do now um, is get the regeneration potion. Oh, I have to wait until I'm not mid-swing. That's always the worst. Um, and try this. No, nope, that just stacks with everything. So I might as well try the swiftness now as well. So that's good. That's a very good thing for us. Um, okay, I'm trying to get better at switching my weapons on the fly. It's not always the easiest thing. Come on, come on, the spider's messing me up. Don't knock me down here. Whoa, dodge the brain. Because the brain can still hurt me, I just can't hurt him. Dude, you are so rude. Let's go up here. Maybe, I don't know if this is a better idea or not, uh, but it's what we're trying. Okay, oh man, he's trying to keep me down here too. He knows he can control me a lot more. I mean, maybe staying on the rope, no, no, the rope's gonna, I'm gonna get knocked off the rope quite a lot. Oh, they're all so low. Come on, get rid of them. And all the hearts are dropping is definitely making this a bit more doable. Come on now, what else do you got? Okay, I know where he's gonna go because his little creepers give it away. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're at full health right now, so this is starting to look really good as we get his last two. I am running out of time for some of this stuff, though, right? Yeah, actually, no, I got a couple minutes on each of it. 
on each of our uh, bonuses. There we go. Now he's gonna fight us, but we're gonna fight him right back. And that's the big thing here. We could actually win this time. <laughs> um, there we go, come on. And then we can now do this. Ow, I just gotta be really careful. It's never good when he attacks us from below, but when, uh, when he's above, we can at least have a mild amount of knockback. Come on, we're actually doing it right now, come on. Don't give up. Come on, come on, come on. The only thing we can really do now is like swing like crazy. And it's actually working. It's just also getting very close. Come on, come on. That's it. This is last for 30 more seconds. We got it, we beat him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I don't even think we got too much for it. I just, I'm glad we did it. Raid of Cthulhu has been defeated. Ain't no brain gonna beat me. I got a brain too, you know. It's a zebra brain. A brain of zebra, not brain of Cthulhu. And it's just as powerful. I guess, something like that. It's definitely not as big and scary as that brain was. But oh my gosh, I'm so glad we were able to do it. It doesn't look like it really gets you too much in terms of like cool stuff. But I mean, along the way, I got some stuff. I got Vicious Mushroom, which is actually probably the most important thing. That's what I can use to make more of those spine things. Or at least I can make the powder, which can be used to make the spine. So if we ever need to fight him again, we can do that. I'm so pleased though. I'm so happy that turned out the way it needed to. We beat him. We beat the brain of Doom. And we got the, the cool new massive Deathbringer pickaxe. Things could not have gone better. Alrighty, so we're gonna teleport home. I think that was a job well done. I wanted to ask, uh, where is she? Oh, where where is she? Oh, she's over this way. Guess like appreciating nature or something over here. Hey there, Rosalva. How is the status? It's still at 5%. I would have a lot more work to do. Is that even worth doing? Maybe you guys can let me know. But for right now, I'm so glad with the progress we made. I mean, maybe you guys know more than I do. Maybe that wasn't a very difficult boss fight at all. But hey, I had a lot of fun and I was able to conquer it on my own. So that's always very cool. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Terraria. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Brain so I have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tassie viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.